New at 10 o'clock, a trio of accused shoplifters behind bars tonight. Thanks to a quick-thinking deputy constable, one of the suspected thieves accused of attacking a Home Depot employee. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez joining us live in spring. Jonathan, looks like a case of one deputy being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, Bill, it really was. That deputy was working patrol here in the area when that crime was taking place here at this Home Depot at about 11 o'clock yesterday morning. Needless to say, it wasn't long before those suspects were in handcuffs. What looks like the start of a routine traffic stop ends in a much different fashion after a female passenger makes a run for it. As to why she was running, the very same reason this pair of frantic store employees were just moments before. Instead, they were trying to get the attention of a deputy to let him know they were robbed. We're patrolling our business districts and a deputy was flagged down while patrolling through a Home Depot parking lot that a robbery had just occurred. After learning the details of the robbery, the Precinct 4 deputy constable also got the specifics on the suspects and their car and gave them a vehicle description for the getaway vehicle. The deputy then uh, it, it traveled towards a uh, last location. It was uh, seen in. It wasn't long before the deputy spotted the sedan and pulled it over in a convenience store parking lot. After about a minute of waiting, dash cam video catches a moments. The female passenger gets out and starts a casual walk, but then makes a run for it. Located that vehicle, eventually made a traffic stop on that vehicle and attempted to detain uh, three individuals when a female passenger then uh, bailed out of the car. Backup deputies arrived and later found that woman who bolted at a nearby restaurant. The two other suspects in the car were also arrested. Investigators say the trio is accused of stealing over $2,000 in power tools from the Home Depot and assaulting an employee when they left the store. And we're told all of that merchandise was recovered. It was returned here to the store. As for those suspects, they remain behind bars in the Harris County Jail. In fact, two of them were told had outstanding warrants already. Reporting live tonight from Spring, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.